I keep saying lately. We're in the last five minutes. Uh, the darkness is certainly getting thicker. And uh, we, we need Yahud Gedeir HaKodesh. Now, note, Tehillah 91 is a prayer for believers only. It is not a prayer to be prayed for or by non-believers. And that point, as we will see, is made clear in verse 14, which I'll point out when we, uh, when we get there. Tehillah 91. He who dwells in this secret place of the Most High, he who abides under the shadow of El Shaddai. He says of Yahuwah, Yahuwah is my refuge and my stronghold. He is my Elohim in whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I completely rely. Because Yahuwah delivers you from the snare of of a trapper and from destructive pestilence. He covers you and completely protects you with his feathers, his wings. And under his wings you take refuge, his truth and his faithfulness is a shield of armor and a wall are not afraid of the dread and terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction and sudden death that ravages and lays waste at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. But danger will not come near you. You will merely be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked, those who go their own way instead of his way, as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Because you have made Yahweh, who is my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil befalls you, nor does any plague come near your tent. For he commands his malachim, his angels, concerning you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They lift you up in their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon lion and cobra, the young lion and the serpent you trample under foot. Here's the uh, point. Elohim says, because he clings to me in love, I deliver him. I exalt him and set him securely on high, because he has known my name. This prayer can only apply to those. Verse 15. When he calls on me, when he confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him, no, never, I answer him. I am with him in trouble. I rescue him, and I esteem him. With long life, I satisfy him 
and show him my deliverance. Personally, I can attest to the truth of those statements of Elohim has revealed himself to me in those ways and my trust in him is unshakable. Elohim, <clears throat> Gader Hakodesh, his hedge of protection for those who love him, for those who trust him, for those who call out to him in confidence. Um, here we have Gader Hakodesh, which appears as Gader there comes from Strong's H, uh, 1447, uh, basically means hedge, a fence, a wall, an enclosure, and it is spelled Gimel Dalet Resh. Gimel, picture of a foot, has to do with one's walk. Gimel has to do with the Ruach HaKodesh, the Father's dedicated spirit. Uh, Gimel has to do with gathering, as in herding sheep. And uh, it has to do with being a messenger. The word is often used to uh, interpret Allah into English, or angel. Uh, Romans 10.15 says, how pleasant are the feet of those who bring or carry the good news. Then we have Dalit, picture of a door. Yeshua is the door. It has to do with movement in and out of that door. Uh, the four dimensions of space and time. Then we have Resh, picture of a man's head. It has to do with headship. And... Uh, thoughts, what your thoughts are, who your thoughts are on. Then Kodesh, we see in Strong's number H6944, usually interpreted as holy, uh, sometimes interpreted as hallowed, consecrated, or dedicated. I think dedicated is the clearest. sun at the horizon. Uh, it has to do with a cycle. It has to do with light, whether growing, sun rising, or diminishing, sun setting. It has to do with time, as in a day. And we have Dalit again, picture of a door. Yahshua is the door. Movement in and out of the door represents the four dimensions of space and time. Uh, and then we have sheen, a picture of two front teeth. Sharp, cutting, pressing. Uh, it has to do with a pair or the second one. Uh, a pair, you, Elohim. The second one, Elohim's hedge of protection, his hedge of consecration, his hedge of dedication, his Gader HaKodesh. This is Elohim's way of surrounding you, enveloping your walk with his Ruach. It's an act he performs with you as he gathers you. Kodeshim, his dedicated one, those who carry and deliver his good news. As ye 
Yeshua communes with you by entering your realm and giving you revelation from his realm. As he crosses over, passing through the door and establishes himself with you as your Adon, your master, guiding you, Kadam, back to the source, Abba Father Yahweh, and separates you from the world by teaching you to make the tough decisions that cause you to die to the ways of the flesh. Like I 
said, a lot of people, uh, he is very forgiving and very loving, and a lot of people uh, will have salvation, although they go through the tribulation, and even, you know, into the millennium, I can't imagine how anyone can turn away from Elohim and towards Satan, after, especially after a thousand 